The last quest on Ufferwind was so difficult they had to change a couple of game mechanics and made a lot of balance changes. With the enemies having more health and damage and also healing themselves, they had to nerf some enemy units and only now am I noticing they actually changed the requirements for that quest. So it is no longer necessary to use the challenge of the Phoenix God making the enemies regenerate. So instead they only have more health and do more damage. Also you are forced to use the power tower perk. I think that's the only time the game actually forces you to use a specific perk. That might be a little hint to the players because this perk is really strong when dealing with these overpowered enemies. I'm going with a strategy that has proved useful a couple of times already. Build this wall and take the fire archers. They make fire land on the ground, making this area of effect damage which impacts all enemies. I also went with house and harbor to gain some gold, which I'm now gonna use to build this tower and go for an early castle upgrade. The tower is already going for the enemies and since they don't regenerate, this level seems almost way too easy. But we shall see if this still holds true in the later waves. So far no problem there. I'm again gonna go for the Lizard Rider, who specializes in defeating low health flying enemies. Again staying here just buffing the towers and that's surprisingly enough. This wave used to be so difficult and now, with no regeneration, it's a piece of cake. This level seems to be a little more difficult, with the hunter already dead, but finally we've managed to deal with that as well. This level has always been way too close for my liking, but perhaps we won't have to do as much babysitting this time. We shall see. The main thing here is for the harbor not to get destroyed. And it's almost destroyed. Well, they, there it is. So might this be even harder than previously? Because normally I managed to save the harbor and only started crying once the enemy started going for the castle. Now we've got those barrel knights incoming. What proved useful last time was just staying behind the wall and letting all these buildings get destroyed. But perhaps today I might try to save them all. No, screw it, it's, it would be too expensive. They are coming now and what's nice is really that every piece of damage we do while they are still on the way is not gonna regenerate. Glad they didn't go for the harbor. So hopefully we should be able to deal with them here. Okay, they are going for the harbor. That's not a pleasant thing at all. And it's gonna get destroyed. Yeah, okay. And they're going for the other. Come on. Come with me. Quickly, please. Hopefully the towers are gonna be enough to deal with them before my army arrives. That was way too close for comfort. Now it was time to focus on economy. Because these flying mages shouldn't hopefully be such a problem to deal with. But still, that remains to be seen. They've gone quite far already. I'm just worried we might lose this rider, which would be really devastating. Luckily, the scarecrows from this mill are helping a lot with the defense. And that's it. And thanks to our economy upgrades, we've earned quite a bit of gold. So hopefully now we can upgrade defenses and make this night a lot easier. Building those low level towers now doesn't seem so useless anymore. Gonna leave this bit of army here, hopefully they're not gonna all die and I just have to babysit these units here. Defending the harbor is the most important thing here. And I've... what the sh**? Okay, so I've lost the rider already and there's no way we can defend this. And these have broken through. Alright, so that was not the play. Trying this with no wall this time. More units, more towers. And most importantly, hero who has double the damage, double the health, double the everything. Let's do this. Yeah, that's better. Now dealing much more damage and the enemies can't even get close to him. The harbor is saved. Wonderful. The tower wasn't so lucky. <laughs> But this area is done, so let's help here with these monsters. No need, they are also dead, so quickly save any buildings we can with the hero. 
because this doesn't seem so good. I just quickly need to grab these archers and let them help a little. We at least need to salvage this mill right here. Oh, and we might actually be successful in doing that. Nicely done. I don't want to keep losing these buildings, so I'm still gonna try going for the wall. I've positioned the units all around the wall, so hopefully the forces haven't been stretched too thin, and we're gonna be able to do this. First, we're gonna focus the south here, and then quickly as possible go help the other spots. This is looking good, so let's move. And we're already fighting a losing battle here. Have to retreat with the Knight Rider. Oh, what's that? Lizard Rider. All right. Mm, that's not looking great at all. I have to tank some of the damage and try to save this tower. Not doing a great job, though. But we've managed to save the castle, at least. And now these Barrel Knights are going for that harbor. It's destroyed already. So hopefully the units are going to be fast enough to stop them before reaching the other one. And it seems that we have done that. That was not pleasant. I'm going to upgrade the castle once more. And let's say the units can attack while I command them. Spending 18 gold to upgrade Heroes Quarter. That's hopefully going to pay off. And the research of an increased ranged attack has finally been done in the blacksmith. So that should be quite helpful as well. Now let's do this. The Lizard Rider is gonna be essential in this case. There are way too many enemies incoming, especially here, those big ones. So I'm gonna try baiting them and dodging their attacks. And they're gonna almost kill the Rider. Wow, almost no health left. But luckily we can now utilize the other units. So sure, the fields and all that stuff got destroyed, but they didn't get much further than that. After this night, there's only gonna be one more, so I'm not gonna waste any gold trying to upgrade the gold-earning buildings. And instead, I'm gonna go for more troops and better towers. I'm gonna move the troops back a little, since I want them to be in range of my archers. And now I have to retreat again. <laughs> this didn't go well at all. All right, not looking great. The archers are all dead. But luckily, we've got reinforcements coming. Sadly, not in time, I think. This was quite overwhelming. But I've never gotten so far in this challenge, so... I'm not complaining. And now it's just the cleanup. So basically, we've only lost a couple of fields, maybe houses. So we're not gonna earn as much gold. Not that we can use it in any meaningful way anyway. Perhaps this tower we could make into a ballista tower. Would that be helpful? I would hope so. So basically, slow firing speed, but shooting high damage bolts. And I'm just gonna upgrade both of the archery ranges to get even more archers. That's it, we can't afford anything else. One gold piece. So is there a field we can afford? Yes, there is. And that's with a Scarecrow, so he's gonna start shooting the flying enemies as well. Not bad. And you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna leave the northern side just die, get destroyed, whatever. And let's focus on the south. So let's see if this strategy works. All of the units are here, ready for action, and the north is completely unguarded. So far, looking great. We just need to deal with this battering ram. And I'm gonna buff this Ballista Tower, shooting the enemies far away that I can't even see them. Now help here, you all retreat, actually everyone, retreat, retreat. This isn't working at all and we need reinforcements in the castle. Otherwise it's gonna get destroyed. So be quick. And the rider cannot die. We just can't have that. Bait these ones. My troops are running away, that's not great at all. The Ballista Tower got destroyed. This isn't looking great, but it's not lost either. Could we classify this as a win? <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. Everything got destroyed, but we've won. 
and I can say it was easy, but it wasn't. But in comparison, it was. Do you know what I mean? Of course you don't, this doesn't make any sense. And then there's this lonely bastard. And he's down. Nice. Victory! So that was the hardest quest in Uferint in all of this game, which was so difficult they actually had to nerf it a couple of times. I think this was the third batch of balance changes in a row. So we've unlocked an achievement and complete the last quest.